Welcome everyone to another episode of the lovely Scotland of Sovereignty of Scotland of Sovereignty of Scotland of Sovereignty of Scotland of Sovereignty. The Sovereignty of Scotland. So, today everyone is day of realizing you might have made a mistake. Um, realizing that the British might actually never leave their continent and fight this war completely and utterly without sending any of their troops over there to the mainland. Which would utterly stink. Because that means we basically can't do anything. And they're also pretty still mad at us. I, I, I expect them to be mad at me because I would be mad at myself too for not entering this alliance. Um, and the British definitely aren't moving. They definitely are not moving. Um, yeah, we could heresy ban the books or... Um, Catholicism's reform desire, Lenny Stair becomes Protestant. <sighs> okay, this is the point where I have to decide. Do I want to become a Protestant, or do I want to stay as I am? Well, considering I'm not winning the Papal Sea anytime soon, and it's not really helping me in any ways, you should probably become Protestant. But then again, those relationships. The Papal State... Hmm... That's just not for now. If I, if I want to if I want to convert I could definitely do it it's not gonna be that hard but man. come on Britain send an army go protect your places oh my goodness come on don't make my like you know destruction of our lines between me and the French for vain for nothing I don't want it to be for nothing I don't also apparently one cannon just cost us a bajillion amounts of bucks so let's go start decreasing that. Decrease our, our like, yeah, let's do that. There we go. We're making 1.1 ducats a turn. But yeah, we really got to figure out how to do this. Oh, shoot. Who's that Diplo power? The British obviously built a big, gigantic, can they even support? Okay, I'm actually curious. Can they even support this? Or are they just doing this off of... No, no, they're going completely over their force limit to try to fight the British, to fight, try to fight the French. What am I doing? What am I talking about? So, hmm. Still means we're at a disadvantage here. Also, the Hansburgs. Do you guys want possibly a royal marriage so that we can solidify our relationships? Yes! Thank you! <laughs> now I got royal marriages with everyone major in the entire world. Which means if potentially something good happens, something good happens. By the way, can I accept any more relationships? Yes, I can accept like one more relationship. Since I'm allied with all three of these guys, it's a good idea to kind of be very weary. And let's see. Austria, would you guys like it? Oh, you guys would love an alliance. Hmm. An alternate, an ulterior alliance from France? Hmm. It would be nice, because if I be friends with Austria right now, that means I could limit the big blue blob now. But then again, that also means I have to deal with also other stuff, like all those little Regency Wars here. And especially since the Protestant Reformation is coming up, we could see a 30 years war happen, and I don't want to go through that. <laughs> hmm. This is going to be very interesting. Let's just say that. This is going to be very interesting. Ah, uh, the Pope has done stuff. The Pope has officially done stuff, and we have officially uh, upgrading our military. We still, that's the other thing I probably should mention, is that we're still not even the full, we are not even up to their standards yet in terms of military, which kind of scares me. Like, let's see, the British right now are, the British right now are, no, no, not that, that, there we go. The British right now are 8th in technology, we're 8th right now too. So we're matching them, but we're not exactly great at it. Which scares me. A lot. Because if we're not great at it, that means we could potentially be taken over pretty quickly. I don't mean just pretty quickly, I mean pretty quickly. But I'm also worried that the fact that they didn't send over any of their men, and they're basically just keeping it all on their main continent, which is good to an extent, but it's also weakening us a lot. Um, this I'm actually going to have to press Diplo, get the colonists, uh, get this, because I don't really care about my prestige, it's already terrible. And hmm, 
Muscovy, Denmark, and Sweden. Why, wow, you're dealing with a terrible war right now. Ye Actually, you have Poland on your side, so you might be able to win, Austria. I could see you winning. But over here in this French alliance. Come on, Britain. Send over troops. Be nice to your friends, your buddies, the people that are helping you in this war. Don't abandon them. Don't. Save them. You're the only one that can. The, you know, you're the little England that could. Go, England. Go save them so I can come conquer you from behind. Yes, I'm spelling out my motivations for this. But it's still a noble effort to go help your buddies. Okay. Let's see, and let's just wait a couple more months. Ah. They're not going to do it, are they? They're just not going to go risk the manpower or the men to go attack. Well, fine. That means we're going to pay back the rest, the little bit of our loans. And that means we're just going to have to make an army that's equal to theirs again to beat them up. Also, we're going to have to hope that France forgives us in the next couple years. The death of a cardinal. Oh, and France forgave us! Oh, yay! France forgave us, everyone! Okay. Yes. Yes! Okay. Now that the French have officially forgiven us, I feel so much more at ease. Because now we don't have to worry about ourselves being invaded by the British at any point in time. Because that means we still gain control over everything. Which makes me very happy. And it looks like a lot of little states are starting to join the Protestant Reformation. If we could get a lot of these little countries like over here to join, that'd be really nice. And not, please stop spreading Protestantism in my land. I don't have enough land to like stop the Protestant Reformation, so... If a lot of them start to join, I'm just gonna be like, Yep, we're going Protestant, everyone! We're going Protestant! And let's see, it seems like they just ended their war. Religious disorder just happened. Are you kidding me? Are you legitly kidding me? They did just send all the army over as soon as... Oh, that makes me so mad right now. Like, it makes me more infuriated than anything that as soon as the war ends, they don't attack. Hmm. Well, it seems like I'm just going to have to wait until next time. And I guess in that time, I guess we could go try to explore this. Denmark! Huh. Denmark, you guys announced us as a... Oh, yeah, I announced you guys as a rival, like, day one. Okay, well, shoot. These guys are now really tough. Oh, my goodness. That's... That's a scary Denmark. They could actually do stuff to us. And if they form Scandinavia, that could also be very scary for us. Uh, I don't want to lose army tradition. So local defensiveness, just a little bit bad for a little bit. Disputed succession again. Who's disputed? Luxembourg, po Portugal, Lithuania, Mantua. Uh, seems like everyone else dealt with their problems. Seems like they're all happy and dandy. And we're keeping full well into the administration. Because we're really good at administration. Man. Why didn't you send more people to the coast, England? We, I had an opportunity, man. James embarrasses everyone to co- Oh, goodness gracious. James, did you really have to do that? Okay. Yay! Austria loves us. Good job, Austria. And we can increase relations for a little bit. Okay, thank you. Okay. And English patriots are going to rise up in my country. That's good. That's good. That's definitely a good thing. And it looks like the Austria is doing its Austrian thing and trying to keep the, uh, peace in the Holy Roman Empire. We're also seeing lots of little Protestants pop up everywhere. France is definitely going through a hard time with these Protestants. I mean, if they if they spread the Ile de France, there's a chance France could become a Protestant nation, which would be hilarious to see again in this world. But it's pretty, pretty fast, so it could happen. It could definitely happen. Like, I'm not even joking, people. This could definitely see a world we have never seen before. And that's scary. That's scary. I mean, it looks like Bavaria is about to become it. He's no longer loyal to us. Shoot. That's not good. That's not good either. And it looks like a little bit of England's getting some Protestant in them. Which that could be an interesting question. Is England going to become Protestant in this world? Hmm. One of the provinces became it. 
two. Let's see, what does London look like right now? 16. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lower taxes. Yes, we'll lower taxes. Goodness gracious, rebels. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, let's get another bronze mortar. Because we have to start balancing our troops. Getting two cannons should be able to do. Should be a good advantage against these guys. Who have three cannons, three infantry, and ten. Hmm, we have ten. And probably need one more horseman. And a religious disorder in Hansa. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, Hansa, you guys are basically... I was about to say, you guys are basically Protestant. There is no way you guys can be something else. Oh. And all these lands. French have a really, really, really lots of Protestants. And they're not going away anytime soon. Oh my goodness. If like another if like another big nation becomes Oh, and then there's like Bavaria who has their land completely engulfed by the Protestants. Oh my god. Well not completely, all the lands over here. Uh yeah, they only have two provinces that are not Protestants. Yeah, that's a little bit awkward. Okay. Uh let's invest in this guy. Because we already have a couple of best teams with. Yay! Uh, let's not do that. France has pronounced Provence as their new enemy. Good job. Austria? There's a chance I could inherit Austria. Yeah, right. I mean, even if it does somehow happen, I don't have enough prestige. I mean, have you seen my prestige recently? It's not exactly good. By anyone's standard, we aren't... We don't consider... We don't... If you're talking about the Scotland prestige, you don't really talk about it. So we, in Scotland, we don't really want to talk about prestige. It's not exactly something of a good conversation starter, let's say that. It's not the best conversation starter. It's not something I want to talk about. Let's let, let's get off the subject. Let's just get off the subject. Oh my goodness, this plague thing is really not being good to us. Add religious disorder. Oh my goodness. Off of these three, three places, we got religious disorder. That, I feel, is kind of BS, but okay. Because only 70% of our country is actually hating us right now. It's not too much, comparatively. But apparently, that's just enough to the point where they really can't do anything about it. Okay. Well then, disputed successions again. Is no longer England. England still has a disputed succession? Wait, really? Hmm. No legal heir? Well, then who's it go to? Who does the heir go to? Well, that's kind of scary, because if they. They could randomly be inherited by France. Which that would be really scary to see. Hmm. Let's see, when are you guys ending 1516? That's the next round of English kills. Okay. Alright, they're semi-weak right now. They only have one big army around them. Okay. I think this might be the time. I think this might be the time. I don't know how well this is gonna work out. Well, actually, I think what we should do is wait until we get military technology 9. Because most likely we'll be even with them at that point. Oh, uh, England and Scott. We don't really like each other. I already said that. I don't really care if we don't like each other. We don't like each other in the beginning anyways. Also, we apparently can see just a little bit of the new world. Potomac. Oh. Uh, with parts of most there. Oh, uh, it's about 403. Tomwa. Okay. And this must be, if I use, okay, so if I do the math correctly, this would just be in range if we have, like, if we have the full technological tree of the diplomatic thing cut down. So, hmm, we should do that. Also, how's England doing in terms of reform? They haven't quite done it yet, and they're start I think they're starting to die from a lot of rebels. I'm pretty sure they're still weakened enough from the rebels. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, yes, I only have 15. 
Only 15k, but 34 manpower. Okay. Yes, they're sending... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I think I just saw that. Did you guys just see that? They sent all the men onto one continent. Okay. My ships go dock up. Hopefully, this won't be a war. I will go into major debt over. Let's get our economy back in order. Um, no, I'm making... Okay. Kid Guy Advisor. There we go. And even then, I am making literally no army. Yay! I don't know what the heck just happened, but I gained stability. <sighs> okay. Is this Protestant? This is English Patriots. Okay. Well, increase our money. Increase our monies. Once I get all those people back inside my empire. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to declare war. I think it's... I think it's about time. The British don't look very powerful right now. Or at least powerful enough for us not to defeat them easily. The players spot... Uh, these guys are going to be annoying throughout the entire years. I'm going to be alive, aren't they? Okay. Protestantism is spreading. Which... I guess it could happen. I could become a Protestant. And let's see. They have one cannon, seven soldiers. We should be able to beat these guys. They have a 2 4. We have a 1 2. Oh my god, this guy's terrible. This guy is way better at command. Oh my goodness, but we are still losing pretty badly in terms of prestige. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And. Those rebels made me realize that... Oh, wait, wait, wait! What was that? Oh, I still can't convert anything. Okay. Um, those rebels made me realize that we need to get better people to, like, command. That was pretty bad. And I'm not going to compliment anything. And I'm just going to break apart, like, one of these... No, not early Karax. A bark right here. And let's see, how much do I have in terms of military? Kick out this guy, because he's useless. <sighs> Those British Patriots, man. They don't leave me alone. They just never leave me alone. Oh, Stir is also rebelling. Even with our positive stability, we still can't get away from the stupid Ulsteans. That stinks right there. And let's see. You're almost 14, so that means even if James... If James were to die right now, it would not be a serious threat to our stability. But James III stinks at military tactics, so we will probably not use him very often. And now the British have just recovered their military. Oh, we're still just trying to kill these stupid... Oh my goodness. It's because they're right in the swamp and they're right in a good place where I can't quite hit them. Hmm. I'm going to try to attack from Yorkshire next time. And see if that works. And... Okay. We finally have updated military tactics. Which means our troops should not be this bad. Also, we're more of an attack group, so the Colata infantry would probably be the better probably be the better stuff for us. We got loans again. It's good to see those things pop up back in Scotland's life. English Patriots are obviously going to just straightly attack me because they're so confident they're gonna win. Wow, I can't believe I am losing still to the Scottish Patriots. These guys are like, I don't know. Oh, and now Scotland's like, oh, now England's like, yeah, I'm just going to casually move my troops to the border. No, no, no particular reason at all. Just going to casually move my, my troops to the border. Okay, let's, it's, it seems like I'm not going to attack for a little bit more. Let's protect trade. Ugh. This is quite annoying. Let's go right here. Oh, my goodness. Just stay right here. Get our men up to speed. Because, I mean, we have more men than these guys do. And I'm pretty sure our numbers should... Okay. And get these Ulster to just... Tyrone Nationalist accept demands. There we go. Now let's just boost stability. We're going to counter this by boosting stability. <sighs> okay. We're almost ready. Okay, just one more month. Alright, 11. The numbers advantage is ours. Come on, do not fail me. 
Do not fail me. Do not fail me. Do not fail me. Do not fail me. Yes! Alright. And with that, their, their rebellion is over. The British no longer have an advantage over me. I just lost ability again. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.